Um, I have a question and don't fight me on this because I know how you conservatives like to tussle. Nowhere in that video did I mention my political affiliation, yet you automatically assumed that because I was advocating for human rights that I was not a Trump supporter. Why is that? Why is that? I think that says more about you than it does about me, babe. I think it does. So this TikToker stumbled on something that I think many of us have seen. Republicans basically identify people as being radical leftists if they suggest that people deserve basic human rights. If you suggest that people get access to food, water, housing, health care, or we just recognize people for who they are if they're gay or trans, or if we suggest that people shouldn't face discrimination based on race or gender. If you say any of those things, Republicans will immediately lash out at you and assume that you're some sort of radical leftists. They do this because they know fun fundamentally that they stand against those things. Now, of course, we're going to have a bunch of Republicans in the comments immediately saying, oh, we're against racism, we support human rights, but the truth is that they don't. You see, they only use that as a defense. A perfect example in this front is free speech. If you look at the question of free speech, Republicans will say they love free speech. They will say they love free speech, and they will cry and cry about being banned from Facebook, YouTube, and other platforms for spreading medical misinformation, and for saying pretty explicitly racist and violent stuff. And they'll be upset about them being banned from those platforms. That is when they'll run around crying free speech. Now why do they do that? These right-wingers say free speech because they know that free speech as a general concept is widely popular, so it's a way for them to take their extreme ideas and try and make it seem like it's normal. It's also how they try to bully platforms platforms into giving them a foot in the door in order for them to spread fascism. Because the ultimate reality is, when they say they support all of these things, it's really just a matter of not wanting to be called out explicitly on these things. They say that they support free speech because they don't want to get banned from YouTube. But if these people were running YouTube, they would ban everybody on the left immediately. They would ban even liberals and moderates and centrists. They would ban basically anybody that isn't as fascist as they are. It's pretty clear that these right-wingers are against protests. Many of them have publicly expressed desires to run over protesters, and right-wing governors around the country have put in place a bunch of restrictions on protesting in general. So these people are not in favor of free speech, but they say that they are. And moments like this are really telling because, because this TikToker saying something about human rights leading to a bunch of people flooding in their comments saying, oh, Trump 2020, oh, oh, you're a lib, is very emblematic of how these people think. The truth of the matter is, when these people think about rights, when Republicans think about rights, they think about rights that they deserve at the expense of everybody else. Just think about the pandemic. They think that they deserve the right to go to Chili's and not wear a mask. But that comes at the expense of basically every other person around them. <coughs> That's a, um, excuse me? Excuse me, <coughs> I'm coming through. <coughs> <laughs> She's coughing so at me. She's coughing at me. No, yes. look at you guys. You're so cute. You're such a parent. Uh, okay, whatever. You're such sheep. Why don't you have a mask? 